Hello, today we're going to be going on a short test ride on the Honda CB300R, a 2019 model. 145 kilograms, that's about 397 pounds weight. It's a 286cc motor putting out 31 brake horsepower at around 8,500 RPM. Fuel tank is fairly small, 10.1 litres, uh, just over 2.5 US gallons and 2.2 Imperial gallons. But uh, miles per gallon is somewhere around 80, so that's not a, a big problem. Cost on the road, about £4,600 in the UK, or uh, on PCP with a deposit of something like £850. It costs about £69 a month over a three year period, with a balloon payment at the end of £1,800 if you want to keep it. As ABS, no gear indicator, but uh, overall a very nice bike. I'm around average height, uh, 5 foot 8 and a half inches about 176 uh, centimetres and weigh around about uh, 80 kilograms with that biking kit on, about 176 pounds. I've been riding bikes for about 45 years on and off and uh, this is my bike. The previous bike was uh, something quite different, it's a BMW R1200GS which I had for, for 13 years and I found that um, I just wasn't riding it, it's just too much of a handful manoeuvring it when you're standing still. It's fine when it's rolling but every time you stop to the lights you'd be looking to make sure the road was level and every time you're parking the bike you'd be looking at uh, how you're going to manoeuvre it out the parking space so a complete and total difference Seat height on this bike is 799mm it's about 31.5 inches compared to the um, R1200GS which was about 820mm and obviously significantly heavier, something like uh, it's over 200 kilograms, so uh, quite a weighty bike. CB300R is a Honda, but it's uh, assembled in Thailand and it seems to be selling exceptionally well in uh, countries such as India where it's in high demand. It falls into a bit of a strange bracket in the UK. Um, an A1 motorcycle license, you can ride up to uh, a bike of up to 15 horsepower. A2 up to 47 horsepower and this uh, bike is about uh, 30 horsepower output so it's sort of in between somebody passing the test and looking to move up to an A2 bike would probably overlook this and go straight up but uh, I definitely think it's, uh, it's the sort of bike that people would have fun on at the back lanes. When I was looking to replace the R1200GS another one of the bikes I looked at was the Honda CB500F it's a twin um, rather than the, uh, the 300 being a single. Puts out a bit more power, 44 horsepower, but it's heavy, 189 kilograms. So the power to weight's not actually all that different. Um, although the uh, CB500F was, was a little more expensive. But um, toyed with the two, also played briefly the idea of getting a 125. Um, I had great fun on the 125 as a lad and uh, thought I'd give it a go, but um, I was convinced there just wouldn't be quite enough uh, oomph to. Uh, make progress on the road so uh, that's why I settled on the on the CB300R. Bought it without a road test, um, difficult to get hold of one for a road test but watched lots and lots of uh, YouTube videos and uh, all the impressions were very good and uh, people were suitably impressed so uh, that was what I went with and I've not been sorry at all. Done about um, 300 miles on this so far so it's just towards the end of the initial running in period so still taking it fairly easy. Um, red lines are uh, about 8,000, sorry, red lines about 10,500 RPM. Maximum power 31 horsepower 8,500. And uh, Honda recommends the first 300 miles, no uh, full throttle starts, uh, rapid acceleration, um, heavy braking, that sort of thing. So we're just getting towards the end of that and just start to stretch our legs a bit. These back lanes are really good fun. Not too much traffic on it as you can see, but of course you've got to expect the unexpected. Cars coming the other way in the middle of the road, pedestrians, uh, you name it. So, take it easy around all the bends. And lo and behold, car in the middle of the road and horse, horse and rider, so easing back there, creep past. I've come across all sort of things in the middle of the road in these back lanes, you really do have to be careful. I'm using a GoPro Hero 7 Black on a chest mount. I did a ride earlier in the day using an earlier Hero camera mounted to the side of the helmet, but the, the audio on it was appalling. And also when I moved my head from side to side to check the mirrors look behind, it made the, the video very uh, very jerky. 
so um, went with the chest mount instead and it seems to work pretty well I haven't got a microphone adapter yet hence this uh, this dubbed audio track um, but the GoPro shows the, uh, the instrument panel quite well um, speeds are in miles an hour and um, the rev counter as you can see on the right hand side is about 12,500 RPM so you can see I'm revving uh, roughly halfway up the scale Speed limits on these back roads are generally 60 miles an hour, unless restricted to uh, 40, 30 or even 20 miles an hour in some areas. Motorways, dual carriageways, 70 miles an hour. But on the back roads, 60 miles an hour is, is plenty fast enough to have lots of fun. So six speed uh, gearbox, um, six gear equates roughly every 1000 RPM would be 10 miles an hour. So 50 miles an hour, 5,000 RPM. So at the max uh, output, 8,500 RPM, you'd be looking at something like 85. And uh, looking at various videos on YouTube, it looks like it tops out just below 100, which again is fine. On a motorway, that could be quite buzzy. You know, if you're cruising at 70, uh, 7,000 RPM, it might get a bit wearing after a time. So generally, you know, not a bike for, for long distance touring. Well, that can be done. I've ridden this uh, two up. I've been on a couple of trips. Um, around about sort of 70 or 80 miles in a day with, without any effort whatsoever. You don't really feel the pitting on the back, uh, particularly when you're using low RPM. This is my first Honda and I must say it's a, it's a really easy bike to ride. I um, started off um, way back with the Yamaha RD 125 two-stroke twin. My first real motorbike, beautiful bike, wish I kept it but got a car. And then had a bit of a break from riding came back in with a 600 diversion from Yamaha, then 900 diversion uh, Yamaha Thundercat 600cc. After I went to the Isle of Man, went to the sports bike. Lovely bike, made your arms ache riding it through town. And uh, then traded that in for the, the R1200 GS, which wasn't the bike I was going to get. I was going to go for the, um, the 850 uh, GS, but uh, I wasn't available for a test ride on the day, so I ended up with the, the R1200 GS. As I say, a lovely, lovely bike, expensive to run desperately expensive to repair um, ABS unit went um, that cost <laughs> it's probably about a third of the value of the bike at the time which is very eye-watering but uh, there you go I wouldn't consider myself a fast rider I've done all that been there seen it done it got the t-shirt so um, what I'm looking for in a bike is just something that's gonna be a bit of fun something will accelerate even this 300 accelerates uh, faster harder than my car does so that's going to give me a bit of a buzz um, something that's easy to ride something that's comfortable something that doesn't cost too much to run and certainly in this day and age something that uh, has a reasonable insurance price there's just so many uh, speed cameras around these days both fixed and, uh, and mobile cameras so you've really got to keep your eyes open it's just not worth breaking the speed limit particularly in areas that you don't know because you're going to get caught there's no doubt about it Of course, it doesn't mean you can't have some fun, and I think you'll see from uh, from the video that uh, on these nice sweeping bends, we can see way into the distance. The 300R is a lot of fun. ABS brakes, um, it's not linked brakes or anything, the BM was uh, linked front and back, so you found you only ever use the, uh, the right-hand lever, and I've had to get back into the habit of uh, covering the rear brake and using that as required. Honda have made some compromises to keep the weight down. The uh, battery is actually underneath the fuel tank, so getting to it is a bit of a pain. Um, rear seat off, front seat off, loosen the plastic shroud that goes around the tank, lift that, um, then unbolt the tank at the front, it hinges to the rear, and then you can get at the battery terminals. So, not something I've done yet, but um, again, there's videos on YouTube that show you how to do it. I'll be putting on a, um, a charging lead for the battery at some point uh, when I get around to that. It's like trickle charging through the winter. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short ride on the Honda CB300R and my impressions of the bike, having uh, had it for just over a month and just over 300 miles. If you've got any questions, please do post them down below. If you want to subscribe, please do, but uh, I can't see this being a one of a, a regular series, maybe an occasional video here and there. So thanks very much for watching and I'll leave you to enjoy the, the rest of the journey.
watching and uh, safe riding. See you out there on the road.